Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a great pleasure for me to provide some opening remarks as we start today's Tech Innovation Programme, which focuses on health and wellness. The past one and a half years have been a truly challenging time for healthcare systems, businesses and societies in all countries. Singapore has reached a high COVID-19 vaccination rate of above 80% of our population and will start our vaccine booster program later this week. We are now embarking on the journey towards becoming a COVID resilient country, learning and adjusting quickly as we go along. So what are the key lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic so far? There are many, but I would like to highlight three which are of particular importance to healthcare systems and their transformation. First, it is crucial for healthcare ecosystems to be well integrated. Localities where different parts of the healthcare and response systems have been able to work in a well-coordinated manner have tended to achieve much more effective COVID-19 pandemic control. Well-integrated healthcare ecosystems are also needed to tackle the challenges associated with population aging and non-communicable chronic diseases like diabetes. Second, our ability to work with individuals and communities to sustain healthy behaviour change is at the heart of transforming healthcare and health outcomes. This is true for COVID-19. It is also true for lifestyle-related chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Data and digital technologies have a key role to play in both. Third, the COVID-19 pandemic showed that we can greatly accelerate research and translation to meet urgent health needs. In Singapore, the health system, public and private sectors, scientists and innovators work very closely together and medtech companies fast-track product development and manufacturing. The result was that locally developed innovations such as diagnostic kits became available in record time. The public and private sectors also joined hands to make use of digital technologies to contain epidemic spread. The widespread deployment of digital technologies like Trace Together and Safe Entry more than halved the time needed for contact tracing. In short, the COVID-19 crisis has been a powerful catalyst that has accelerated innovation in healthcare. It has also provided fertile grounds for forward-looking, nimble and innovation-ready SMEs to grow rapidly and start new lines of business. You will hear more about these opportunities and the work of exciting local companies later today. Even before the COVID-19 pandemic, Singapore had already been working on strengthening and transforming our healthcare ecosystem. Our goal is to maintain and to improve health outcomes while managing costs, even as our population ages and lifestyle-related chronic diseases increase. The Innovation Office I lead, the MOH Office for Healthcare Transformation, is focusing on several of these key areas. And I invite you to visit our website to find out more about our work. A major priority for Singapore's health transformation is to redouble our efforts to promote health and prevent disease at the population level. To do so, we need innovations that effectively empower individuals and patients to take charge of their own health and for care teams to better support this shift. We also have to strengthen primary care and health and social services in the community and make sure 
they are well integrated with the rest of the health system. In this regard, data analytics and management, AI and digital technologies will play key roles. In particular, wearables and sensors have gained significant traction. With the availability of technologies such as miniaturization and AI, wearables and health tech sensors now have expanded functionalities for different health applications and more diverse population segments. I invite you to join in the discussions to find out more about the opportunities in the area of non-invasive diagnostics in the afternoon session, or to check out the technology offers for commercialization from the Singapore Health Technologies Consortium or Health Tech. Each crisis brings severe challenges, but each crisis also brings forward exciting new opportunities. As we start the transition into the new normal, it is ever more important for our enterprises to collaborate, innovate, and seize these new opportunities. The Tech Innovation Platform is an excellent way to network and explore the possibilities that technology has to offer. On this note, I wish everyone a most rewarding and fruitful time at Tech Innovation 2021. Thank you very much indeed.